Hi, it's Jimmy, and we're playing realistic golf with realistic expectations. And what that means is we're going to take the scratch par for the course, add our daily handicap on top to get our new target for the day. We're going to distribute those shots against the nine easiest holes and the nine hardest holes. Now, you've joined us for part three of this series. We're currently on hole 13. We're one under at the moment, one under our handicap score. Now, coming up is a 440 meter par six, and it's par six because it's stroke index 14, and I get a shot on this hole. Oh, it's gone straight to the kangaroos. Full right, yep, because they know what that means. That's okay. Nope. All right, I actually got the opposite of a member's bounce. Uh, so the hole straight through there. Five hybrid again. All right. Not a good shot at all. Who would actually punch it through there and who would go over? Because I'm gonna try over. It's not quite enough. Got a feeling it's in that fire wood heap. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Let's just, um, Move this bit of bark because who cares? Oh, and that leaf. Finally, a good shot on this hole. Well, let's get out of here before I see a snake. Golf cart's too far away, so I'm going to putt this with the wedge, which might be better. Oh, that actually was pretty good. All right, we start off with a drop shot there, but that's okay, time to bounce back. We've got a 340 meter par six this time. It's a par six because I get two shots in this hole. So let's see how we go. It's gonna be a pretty tough one. Dog leg around to the left. Oh, hit a tree left. All right, all right, all right. So I found the ball and it was playable, it was like, I can still see it, but there's a snake over there. Um, yes, I'm, I, I just, Jimmy Bunker's rule, I dropped it here because I'm not playing where a snake is. Ugh. Perfect. Oh yeah, the hole goes around that way, so I was trying to chippy six iron. All right, sorry about that. Um, if you're not from Australia, you probably don't know, but a brown snake, you don't go near a brown snake. Brown snakes actually like, can kill you. Uh, I'm out here by myself. Um, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to take a photo of it and stand next to it. I'm just going to get the f out of there uh, because this is a, a rural country course. And if anything happens where I'm bitten, um, I'm in yeah, a bit of strife. So I just moved a fair bit away. So um, yeah, if you comment below if you think that's worthy of a penalty, uh, I don't. But here we go. So this is, uh, depending on who you ask, I'm either playing my third or playing my fourth. And I hope I'm playing my third, because that was nice. Okay, let's see. Gotta hit the ball. All right, what do you think? Is that a five or is that a six? I know what I think. Yeah, I'm no good with snakes, so I just sort of left that one alone, but we're moving on now. We're up to hole 15. This one here is downhill. It is a par four. It's 160 meters, so it is stroking at 16, so I get one shot on this hole. 160 meters downhill with the wind. High off the club face. Hybrid. Too high off a club face hybrid. The ball is sitting down in the rough a little bit. 
I'm going to go for a 60 degree this time instead of my um, 56 that I've been hitting most of the day just to get underneath it and pop it up. That's not really underneath it, but it's on the green. That's whatever it is. Don't be shit, don't be shit, don't be shit, don't be shit at putting. Okay, that's not too shit. Camera can't see it now, but that's okay. It's just here. home stretch now and it gets pretty tough because now we've got the hardest hole on the course. 330 meters gets pretty much a right angle to the left hand side and it goes directly uphill. So let's check this one out. 330 meters, it's 170 to the bend and then it's a hard left. Five. Whoop. Might be too aggressive. All right, I got caught up a little bit. The holes this way, I don't know, I definitely can't get there because it's 150 metres uphill, but I kind of just want to get over these trees and get it somewhere where I can get a wedge on it. Okay, that's a, that, that, is, that works out. That worked out, holy crap. All right, in a good spot. I'm just gonna hit it up because it is still about, I'm gonna say it's another, oh, actually I don't know, I reckon it's like another six metres up. Just missed the wedge to the right, but it's up there. All right, hardest hole on the golf course for a reason. Just trying to get a wedge to this point. Um, a little bit further would have been nice, but that's okay. Two putts from here for a par. All right. But I drained it. Six for two. Two holes to go. Now we go from the hardest hole on the course to the easiest hole on the course. This is a 125 meter par four. Now, we're on track to break 100 at the moment. We're gonna try and see if we can beat it even more. So we're kind of even with the card. Let's finish this last two holes off. 125 meters, nine iron. I love it. All right, let's do this quick before the phone dies. Wait, not the phone, the camera. And then I have to switch to my iPhone. Surprised I got the 17 holes. Come down. Okay. Think about it. Regulation. And just like that, we're on the final hole. Now this is a 516 meter par seven. It's a par seven because it's a stroke index seven and I get two shots in this hole. Now you're actually stuck with my voiceover for this one too because the camera went flat. I'm gonna kick it off with driver here and this one finds a fairway, it's quite nice. So I'm pretty happy with that. It just sits in there, sets us up to finish off this hole really well. Now I decided to go driver off the deck because I'm like, I've got a shot to spare. It's wide open, it'll be fine. And I made really good connection with that tree. Now I'm blocked out by the tree. I could have gone left and gone back actually onto the fairway, but I decided to go right to this open area here because then just as soon as you go over those trees, you get to the green, except that ball disappeared. It only went like maybe 20 meters in front of me and ended up here. And I decided to go for a hero shot. I bet the five hybrid out. I'm like, I can take those trees. I can go over them. It'd be fine. And I was right. I didn't think I actually would get it to work, but it landed on the green and it rolled so close to the hole. Like, I was surprised. Like, look at that. That's insane. So, after being an idiot for three or four shots, I'm actually rewarded here with a par putt. So here I am just talking about how good that was, how much of a hero I am, you should always go for the hero shop, never lay up, it's all that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah. 
Anyway, it definitely wasn't the case. The ball did roll close to the hole. It's sort of like, I don't know, it, it looked like it flipped out, but it, we just couldn't tell. When I mean we, I mean me and the guy on the camera, which is actually the same person. But anyway, I'm rambling now. Just hurry up and hit this putt. Come on, keep going. Line it up. You gotta take your time here. This is to shoot 95, I'm pretty sure, which is uh, well, well below our target average, which is great. And you idiot. That's the golf god saying you shouldn't have done that. You played that hole terribly. Anyway, we finished the round under par. We broke 100 using golf sidekicks method. And I just want to thank everyone for watching because there's more videos like this coming out. So if you want to subscribe, that's great. If not, I don't really care. Do what you want. Thank you very much.